What's up? This is Gazbot from Action Activate, but I'm here today for Power Morphicon Online 2021 for the Wild Force panel. And with me as always, it's me, Alex, the Big Dog Defender. Happy to be here, guys, but we are not alone. We have a couple other people that we want to uh, talk to, so take it away. Of course. All right. Well, first up, we have Danny Delgado, the Black Wild Force Ranger, Jack Guzman. Welcome, sir. Man, thank you. Thank you for having me, fellas. Of course. Of course. Yeah, and then, Thanks for joining. Of course, we have your partner, the uh, the Blue Ranger from Wild Force, Max Cooper, <laughs> Phil Jean-Marie, which I hope I said that correctly, sir. It's Philip Jean-Marie. Oh, <laughs> oh the long con. Good setup, oh. sir. <laughs> you got me. Oh, for those that don't know, because he asked, Gaz asked if I wanted to be called Phil or Philip, and I told him Phil because Philip seems a little too snobby. So. And then, uh, and then he turned around, and made me look. I flipped cool. it on him. I, I, that. I appreciate that. That's that's very rangerly of you. Uh, <laughs> I think the problem is we got too many guys here. We got to balance this out. So let's bring in uh, Taylor, the Yellow Wild, Wild Force Ranger. Excuse me, Allison Sullivan. Welcome, Allison. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Of course. Thank you for being. Happy here. Friday. Happy Thank Friday, you. indeed. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and then Happy Friday. And then finally, playing the white, I always want to say pink because there's pink, but the white Wild Force Ranger, Alyssa, is Jess Ray. Welcome, Jess. How are you? Hi. Happy Saturday. All right. Saturday for you. We're all in different time zones here. Look at the lovely place you are. We're all in these dark rooms and you're like in paradise over there. My kids are asleep inside, so I had to go outside. <laughs> we That's heard uh, well birds chirping earlier. It was very uh, serendipitous. It is <laughs> much better white. than the fireworks I have going off in my neighborhood. Um, all right, Same well, as mine. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, that looks awesome. That makes me sad, but I'm happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, let's get this going instead of just being jealous of where Jess is. Big Dog, you got a question you can maybe shoot out to the group to get us going? Yes. I wanted to um, kind of start, since this is for Power Morph Con, even though it's online, I know all of you have been to – at least one con. What's the uh, most memorable item you've been asked to sign? And for this, we're going to start with Jeff. <laughs> okay. So um, hands down, it was someone's leg. Nice. And then he went and got it tattooed. Um, I've done that a couple of times, and it always just feels a little awkward, but awesome. <laughs> awkward, but awesome. <laughs> That's some dedication right there. <laughs> All right, well then why don't we uh why don't we go to Jack then since uh um man I, I really can't remember any that were like obviously that stood out. Honestly, I I'm not that cool. <laughs> no leg tattoos for you? No, none, man. That's no cool. boobs. I wish anybody <laughs> now you know for next year. <laughs> Put it uh, on there. Well, how about yeah. you, Allison? Uh, I mean, I've had some really cool Power Ranger swords mm -hmm. uh, that I, you know, obviously from the show, like these huge mm -hmm. swords um, brought to the table. And, um, you know, I'm sure they cost hundreds of dollars. Didn't that... No exciting body parts, though, that I remember. That's still but pretty cool, though. hey, guys, <laughs> you know, <laughs> never say never. Uh, so next year, the floodgates are just going to open. All right, Philip. Hey. How are you? I just want everyone to know that I'm really ready, willing, and able to sign any body part uh, <laughs> besides a private part. I will sign any body part. <laughs> and if you want to tattoo it, go ahead. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm low-key jealous, Jess. You, I've never, I never knew that about you. That was Sorry. the story that we've never shared. How dare you? <laughs> I'll text you a picture. That's so cool. Awesome. Well, th that was that was a very good question. If you're if you're able to let people in the same cast learn things about each other, big dog. So, so yeah. let me just steal points. I, I think I should have mixed it around a little bit, though. We should have. If I knew ahead of time, I would have finished on Jess and just the. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the best answer. Not even just one, multiple legs that have your signature tattoo. <laughs> no, no, one was a leg and the other one was an arm. So, I don't know why my arm's small. You're close. To me, yeah. 
You just need an arm, a leg, and a head to complete a full body, and you'll be Jack, good. can I sign your head, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> nice and shiny. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, let me. I'll, I'll guess I'll do a question now. It's gonna be hard to beat that one. Um, all right. Well, I'll do a little bit more uh, behind the scenes sort of thing. For you guys had two crossovers for your season. You had Forever Red and you had the the time Reinforce of the Future with Time Force. So when you did those, uh, was there any actor, returning actor, that you were especially excited to work with, or that you had an especially good experience working with? Um, and whoever is ready can go first. <laughs> No, you hated all the other actors? Okay, moving on. No, <laughs> oh my God. I enjoyed working with Time Force. I loved the fight, um, like the gun scenes I got to do with Aaron because mm -hmm. we didn't use guns on our, our show and they were these like laser light things and we um, we got to do stunts and it was a lot of fun. So I loved that. Awesome. Nice. Uh, anybody else? I yeah. guess if we have to say something. You don't have to. I mean, if you like. Well, no, I'm saying in, in, in relation to what you're asking, the only answer that I would have is for me that uh, Forever Red was awesome because at that time, whenever we shot it, I remember thinking, man, I'm in about one day of this episode and it's almost like having an entire week off. So I loved it. <laughs> so you like how, how little you had to do. I was literally in like one day where Philip and I are at a park and the guy comes up looking for, you know, the Red Ranger. And he was like, hey, Red Ranger, come here. And he takes him away. And we're like, what? And, and then I was like, hey, man, this is the only day we got to work. They're like, yeah. I was like, awesome, dude. It's like a week yeah. off. You could sl sleep in is what you yeah. could do. There yes. you go. Instead we of getting up at 430 in the morning. Yes, well, I thought everyone else was sleeping in. Like you just get to the location and just take a nap real quick. Nobody? I mean, Nobody? Philly and I were Maybe you have a special team. ability. Bro, I was a professional napper. Like, for real. <laughs> Nobody? Nobody? No, none of y'all? Sometimes I did, but it would, like, yeah. ruin my makeup or my hair, and I would get shit for it, and so I, I think I stopped doing that. Yeah, you got to sleep like this, like this. <laughs> You're going to sleep on your back like yeah. this. Just like this, you know? Or put a knife <laughs> under your chin. That way you'll never... <laughs> <your face>. oh. <laughs> Uh, I would say I have a story about okay. Michael Copon <laughs> from Time Force okay. Blue. Yep. Because so we did the we did the you know the little crossover episode, and then uh, I remember he came up to me. He was like, "Hey man," I was like, "What's up?" He's like, "Why'd you uh, why'd you paint over my, my my autograph, man? My signature?" And I was like, "What?" I was like, "Oh, in the room," because like I ended up like getting his room. Right. I repainted it. You know what I mean? And like. I was the blue ranger so i didn't paint it blue but i painted it yellow because i wanted something to wake me up like in the morning you know right. what i mean so i painted like my whole room yellow and he gave me crap for it he was like yo why'd you paint over my because i was like it's my room it's my room yeah <laughs> <laughs> didn't you know it was supposed to be a shrine to him for i didn't him? realize that i didn't realize that i didn't realize that's what we we're doing but that's uh, hilarious. Yeah, no sorry <laughs> <laughs> Allison, anything you want to add? Guys, to move on or? Oh, go for it. It was just, it was just so much fun filming with them with with Time Force. It was just, you know, and some of our best scenes were were with them, and our like coolest fight scenes right. were with them. So, and they're, you know, they're still our buddies today. So almost twenty years later. So we obviously had a good time. Yeah, <laughs> except for that darn Michael Copan. <laughs> you know what was cool about that episode, which I really liked, was the fact that like it kind of gave like a uh, backstory to all of the character, to all everyone, you know, to like all of us. Um, I, I think that that's really good when you can kind of have a because that's that TV show. I mean, you know, that TV show, uh, the show we were on. It's you know, it's pretty much a uh, it's a commercial that we're yeah. promoting toys, you know, the whole time. And so it was good to kind of have some backstory to these characters that we're playing and to see the relationships. And it, it was fun. It was fun to, to to play and hang out with those guys. Agreed. Even though I yeah, I got love for Michael Copan. I got love for him. All right, so I, don't, I don't want this turned into a thing. There's no, no, we're, we're getting around. Right. Right. There's already an MMA fight of Ranger actors in the book. <laughs> <laughs> Are we creating the tension now? 
as oh, long as I'm Floyd Mayweather and he's uh, Logan Paul, then we'll, <laughs> we'll be fine. So you're going to hug him when you, you know, catch him with that hook, right? <laughs> exactly. You're going to hold him up and hoist him a little? Okay. <laughs> Welcome Very to MMA Talk here on Power Morph Con Online. I was going to say, for everybody who didn't see that fight, you didn't miss much. So... <laughs> So it sounds like from especially the Time Force crossover that there's more than just the yellow rooms for a pretty good prank because I've heard that, you know, especially in, you know, your own season, I'm sure there were some pranks. And then you get two teams together and uh, were there any good hijinks that you guys remember? For me, uh, it wasn't something that, uh, you know, it didn't happen between – cast members it was actually someone uh in the crew and uh she got me good man she got me really good she actually hand wrote a letter uh as a kid saying that i was her favorite power ranger but then she didn't leave like a return address and so i was freaking out like dude how do i get a hold of this kid how do we know like i was going around going up to the office it was yeah she got me good i remember that <laughs> <laughs> that paints you in a good light though because that shows that you're a good guy that you're like i got to do the right thing by this kid so i've prank- changed i've changed oh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> i got kids of my own now so i understand the truth you know no, i'm just kidding i'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. uh yeah you know it, it was a it was a it was all all good all fun it was funny she got me really good <laughs> Nice. Anybody else want to have any? Uh, what was the question, Big Dog? I don't remember what you said. Any, any good you. prank, either time <laughs> force or not? Right. Just right, right. I'm not, nah, man. For me, I mean, uh, not pranks wise. It was actually like a, a cool thing because I was thinking, God, how how cool that we get to act with these people that already did it for one year. You know, maybe they have some stuff that they can tell us and and I don't know, help us along along the way. You know. <laughs> and did they uh, give you any pointers or? Nah, not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Nah. <laughs> nah. We were filming for so many hours and, you know, the days are long and you start early and, and you know, you want to bring your A game. So, you know, especially when this really cool team shows up and they've already mm-hmm. been there, done that. Um, I think, you know, I think we were just focused on like doing a good job um sure. and not being like so could you guys give us tips we're like we know what we know what we're doing maybe maybe it was because you were asking in that strange voice that they, they didn't want to i'm full of voices <laughs> i can't help it so probably they're like it's very strange no nope. jess anything you want to add before we move on no pranks i mean probably one of the funniest things that happened on the show was for the last episode when Jack and Phil were like traveling the world and um, <laughs> Jack was wearing his like Russian outfit and they had to do this dance. And I went into his dressing room and asked him to show me some of the dance and he was doing a high kick and his pants ripped. Oh, <laughs> and I have it on video. It's awesome. <laughs> have you shared that publicly? <laughs> Maybe on Instagram. <laughs> See, Jack, Jack's been really, Jack's been really good. Jack's been really good. You know what I mean? Jack, like he's he's been really good. See, he knows he knows that Jess has this uh, blackmail uh, video. I do. Oh, I do. So the, that's why whenever we're asking, you're like, I nothing bad to say about nope. anybody. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, just wanted to mention that. Yeah. Um, so this one's for Jess. So Jess, what was it like getting to play your character again recently with? Uh, Nerdbot Studios. Oh my goodness. I have so much fun with those guys. <laughs> um, yeah, Colin um, is just so funny. And William is also very f- just funny. They have a good um, like relationship with each other. And then it's fun to kind of get in there and make fun of them both. But playing... <laughs> Playing a ninjetti is very cool. Wearing that costume is much more comfortable than tight spandex. <laughs> sure. Um, sure. But yeah, it's really cool. We're going to be filming more this summer. Uh, and this yeah. is Rise of the Ninja for those that don't Rise know. Rise of the Ninja. And then I'll be with them at a con in December, I think, in Pasadena. Nice. Uh, yeah. A follow up question You're doing the ninjetti. 
did you have something to do with choosing that form or did they just tell you that's what you were doing? I didn't choose anything. They kept posting about the show and I, I think I messaged um, William and said, hey, you guys need a girl. What's up with this? <laughs> and they were like, okay, we'll join us. And so that's how it happened. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> um, and then Colin wrote some stuff in for me and I really like the backstory. Um, and I, you know, we get to do stunts. I accidentally slapped Colin in the head. It was awesome. <laughs> he <loved> it. <laughs> accidentally. Uh, accidentally. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been fun. Awesome. Yeah. And for those of you that haven't checked it out, it's on YouTube, Nerbot Studios. Totally worth checking out. So Allison, um, I'm going to ask you a question, uh, a, a kind of a weirder question, um, in, in doing a little Excellent. preliminary research on IMDb. So this may not be true because it's IMDb, uh, but it some of it's that, wrong. Okay. Well, this is what I want to yeah. know. Uh, it said you were one of the lead singing nurses in the LA, uh, punk metal band, Surgeon Marta. Is there truth to that? Yes. Yes. Can you tell me about that? Cause I am very interested. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was the most fun I've ever had this life. Really? Um, oh, hands down, hands down, the most fun. Except My for Power Rangers, right? Sorry, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Playing on stage, <laughs> singing at the House of Blues on the main stage. No, that was like the highlight of of, of my life. Um, my my well our friends um, had this punk band and we would go watch them and one of their singers was leaving and they kept asking me to join the band. And I was like, no way, no way. Cause I was scared to death. Being an actress is different than being on stage. It's live, mm -hmm. you know, it's live. Yeah. Um, and also, you know, I didn't think I was that great a singer, but I joined the band and then my husband ended up being the drummer, which was even better. And um, we got to open up for our friends um, at the House of Blues and at the Viper Room and the Key Club. And it was just like the best two years of my life. It was so much fun It because it was punk music. I had like pink right. hair and like, look at me. You think that I like this person sings punk music and like says, fuck me in an audience, and, you know, um, but but we did so, and, and there was like the a people, horror thing too, right? Because I saw one of the songs was like uh, a line from like Return of the Living Dead, where they're like send more paramedics or whatever. That's like a whole song. Send more, no, it's more cops. Send, it's send more cops, piggies, yes. piggies, and I don't think cops are pigs, but no, it's from it's the movie. It's a punk band. I mean, it's a yeah, punk yeah, yeah. band. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So that's awesome. You know, oh, it's sing just... a line for us. You should sing a line for us. <laughs> Absolutely not. Maybe if I had some tequila or boba like you to warm me up. But but thank you for that question because no one ever asked me about that. And it's just, you know, acting is really fun. But to be on stage and like to get to interact with the audience and sure. to sing and be silly on stage is like was the best time ever. That's, so. I, I'm really glad. I thought you were going to be like, no, that's wrong. Or, oh, yeah, I did that once. Who cares? Oh, no, <laughs> that's right. That's great. That's <laughs> awesome. Thank you uh, for asking about that. No, that, that's, that's awesome. I'm glad I'm glad I did. All right. So let's see. Let me uh, let me throw a solo question over to Jack. Oh, I got a few for you. But, uh, all right. I, I was looking over your IMDb, and, and you got a lot of uh, parts in a lot of shows. You play a lot of cops, I notice. Uh, there's something very uh, authoritative about you, I guess. But <laughs> that's not really what I wanted to ask you about. I wanted to ask you about, because um, one of my other favorite shows is It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And I remember watching that episode that you were in, and it took me a second where I'm just like, because I'm watching them do their comedy and whatever, and I'm like, wait a minute. that Marie Is that... <laughs> Hey, that's Jack from Wild Force. So, so it was like it, a, a, a lot. The, it was in the wild, wild force spotting, if you will. So uh, could you talk a little bit about how you got that part and, and, and how that went? You know, I hate to disappoint, man, but it's it's just like any other part, brother. I went to an audition. I was lucky enough to get the part. And then uh, it just happens. It so happens that the show has such a following, you know, and then a lot right. of people uh, like yourself notice all the small details in it. Right. But, yeah, man. Nothing exciting, unfortunately. It's just like any other audition, brother. So and, and even on the day of filming, it was just like any other job to you, basically. 
Uh, well, again, I hate to admit this, but no, I'm not fine. a fan of the show. So for right. me, not that it's just another job because it was fun and those guys are great. And, you know, Danny DeVito, imagine I'm a huge fan. That was my time of watching like on Twins, him and Schwarzenegger. That was one right. of my favorite movies. So to see him in person mm -hmm. and, and to act with them, it was phenomenal in that sense. You know, you learn a lot by by seeing. But right. At the same time, it wasn't like when I worked with Halle Berry that I was like, oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Gotcha. So that's the difference. Right. Well, that's cool. I, I guess that's true because like one person's exciting project is another person's another day at the job. You never know what the thing is going to be. For sure. Well, man. I mean, you did a good job. The episode worked. So you did Thank your you, job man. as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. No problem. Why don't you give Phil a solo question? So um, you had mentioned – Obviously, in the uh, behind the scenes of the Time Force episode, you had a, a little back and forth with Michael. Are there any other um, actors that you have a good uh, con interaction with, obviously, after the show that you have the uh, funny story for? Man, that's, uh, that's tough because, I mean, everyone, every ranger that I meet, for the most part, it's like an unsaid thing because it's like, oh, you're a ranger, I'm a ranger too. So there's like that little little nod, you know, a little wink, wink. Uh, but I can't really give a specific story. I mean, all the Rangers. I like Kevin Duhaney. He's really fun because we've done a few cons together. Uh, who else, man? Uh, He's a sweetheart. Well, Maybe tell us who you don't like then. Uh, just Michael Copon. <laughs> just Michael Copon. That's, it. That's, <laughs> That's it. That's it. DMC 2022, <laughs> no holds bar. <laughs> Bare knuckle brawl between Philip and Michael. Yeah. You know, buy your tickets now. Pre orders are online. June 19th. No, do not say that. And since he's my best friend, that. then uh, I'll be the it's undercard. All <laughs> Boy, yeah. Jack, said, Jack said he wants to be the undercard. He yeah, wants who are you going to gonna fight? <laughs> I'm going to fight any any ranger that's more famous than any of us from Wild Force. <laughs> that's not all that hard. <laughs> the undercard is going to be by a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> I think what they do is they introduce the black or green ranger from the next season, but it's in the middle of the ring and they don't know you're coming in. And then you just show up and you're like, all right, here are your gloves. Let's go. <laughs> you have to beat me to move on. <laughs> I mean, that's how acting should be, right? Like, violence. Yeah, isn't it just... <laughs> it feels like it the, sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's right. alley fights that turn into roles. That's what I've been told. <laughs> alley fights. Oh, man. I think these individual questions are going taking us off the rails. Let's go back to a group question for a minute. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go off the rails again. Have we ever really been on the rails, though? I'm, I'm kind of... Who um, needs rails? I live my life a quarter mile at a time, you know? When I go up the escalator, I don't even hold on to the rail, bro. I'm a rebel. I don't care, homie. <laughs> that thing I has germs on it. I it has germs on it. <laughs> Life lessons about escalators at Power Morph Con Online 2020. I'm with you, Jack. I do the same thing. Yeah. I need to feel safe. I need to feel secure in some aspect of my life. I just got to hold on there. Absolutely. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, let me ask another. Here's another sort of behind the scenes question um, for for your guys' season. Uh, now you know, but I don't know what you knew then. That it was the season where it was switching over from ownership from Saban to Disney, and also leaving Fox to go to uh, ABC Kids, I believe. So there was a lot of behind the scenes stuff. And the next season was completely changed over. But you guys were sort of that hybrid season. Uh, do you were you aware of that? Did it feel different? Could you tell things were changing, or or you know, was you were oblivious to it while you were filming? Jack. Absolutely, we could tell, man. Everybody was, you know, upset because imagine, like we've always said, you've had a steady, cool job for nine years, and then all of a sudden you find out you're going to be fired. So people were pissed off, not necessarily at us, but rightfully so. You know, just, just the situation, right? So yeah. also, prior to us, I had heard that they would go to malls or do different things and signings Appearances. and things like that. Bro, we didn't do anything. We Nothing. never did. We were like, that's why I've always said that we're like the stepchild series, you know, because we mm -hmm. never really got anything. But at the end of the day, I think it went awesome, man. And we have, yeah. you know, I had a blast at least. And and what's happened, like how cool that people still like it. It's because the fans are, are really loyal. 
That's what's yeah. up. You know what I mean? Like, that's the reason why we're here right now talking. <laughs> well, and I think maybe a lot of people discovered your season later, too. Like, like just being honest, like, I didn't watch it when it was on. I saw it later on. Um, and, it, yeah, it, it holds up. It's a good season, you know? So it's not like, like for whatever whatever you're talking about where people weren't seeing it, I, I totally believe it was lack of promotion or whatever because it's not like it's a subpar season at all. There's a lot of great stuff totally. in the season. It's very but, sweet. Yeah. It's a sweet season, you know? Yeah. And yeah. kids love animals. And I think that's a really, you know, it's a yeah. big aspect. So do of adults. It too. So do so adults. adults. Hey, I have animals. seven animals, okay? <laughs> that's, we have seven. Yes. With, you know, as we talked about kind of backstage, things are starting to open up. What's kind of one thing you're most looking forward to at next year's PMC? Assuming you can make it. What's like the one thing con wise that you've been like, oh man, I'm really looking forward to blank. I'll start with uh, Allison on this one. It's going to sound like such bullshit or, or silly, but I, I actually really love uh, hugging everybody. Like that's, you know, just, um, you know, when you meet fans, especially over many, many years, you talk to them quite a bit, um, you know, and sometimes you find out some are not doing well or, um, you know, some have taken their lives um, over the years. And so for me to get to um, sort of just spend a few minutes with each fan who loved our season and just hug them and um, see their faces and see them smiling and um, see that it probably made their whole year to come and meet all of these Rangers. Um, I, th I think that's, that's the most special part of it for me. And, and also seeing all of our other Ranger friends who we don't get to see mm -hmm. normally. So those two things, honestly, I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. It has been too long. That's so. that you made me. That's great. I'm yeah. sorry, everybody, that I started. Good luck. Strong. Good luck following that up. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that was beautiful. No, that's awesome. Yeah. Does anybody want to try or do we just want to move on? I mean, after that, you what know, you say? The, the food in the green room. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> There's some good snacks. <laughs> What else am I going to say after that, man? No, you guys. We've all experienced that. I think we've all experienced, you know, being oh, there for, you know. You know. Stories are always amazing, man. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. I think for all of us, you know, that's that's what's fun for us is to hear all their stories. Uh, and like Allison said, man, from some that you know for years, imagine it's like they grow up with us. You know, we get older, they yeah. get older. Sometimes they introduce us to their kids and it's like, wow, you know. Mm -hmm. And then seeing seeing their kids grow up is so cool too. And then them showing their kids our shows and seeing you know three generations of people that makes us sound really fucking old. <laughs> <I'm> sorry, <laughs> but but isn't that cool? I mean, that, that we is, did something yeah. for nine months when when we were kids, and it still touches people to this it's day. Like Who can say that? Yeah, I mean, same, just personal connection again. You know, I think especially this year, so many people have just been upset and locked in. And um, I've been doing a lot of cameo for people, so that's been nice. But just to see people face to face, I think, is what I'm looking forward to the most. Nice. And giving Philip a big hug. <laughs> yeah. He goes by Phil now. That's right. Oh. Phil. <laughs> well, that's making serious. Me, making me sound all snobby. Philly <laughs> is what some call him. No, Philly <laughs> is what I call him. You can't call him that. I'm you sorry. better not. How dare you? <laughs> I will say to kind of the fan perspective of what you guys were talking about, I know for uh Gaz and I, our first uh Morphicon, we did the the breakfast which I think was really cool. I know um, some of you had joined for that and that I think kind of like right now is just, you know, everybody's hanging out, you know, enjoying a beverage or food and just kind of gets to relax. I know I'm sure for you guys, some questions are easier to answer than others, but you know, just 
get to you know enjoy each other's company which i think if they bring that back that'd be yeah. hopefully something that that works for kind of a lot of the points you all made yeah, yeah. it's all about connection like yeah. what just said you know because we've been so disconnected in this past year and a half from everyone like physically you know i mean i mean virtually we're we're connected but it's just it's it's different you know what i yeah. mean it's like just being able to shake someone's hand or give them a, a little hug you know what i mean like absolutely yeah. and not worry about talking over each other because we're all in this weird cyber space <laughs> thing that's and, why yeah. i muted myself that i'm a <laughs> professional zoomer <laughs> well you know <laughs> there uh, he goes again alex and i didn't talk about our questions ahead of time but he just set me up for a, a perfect question because oh. You're welcome. Uh, PMC 2016, I was at that breakfast as a fan, and I sat at Jack's table, and he was horrible. No, no, no. <laughs> no he was lovely. He was lovely. He was lovely. Uh, but but at the breakfast, I, I remember one of the things you said was like, well, you know, you used to not understand why people would want to, like, come and meet you, and who cares you this thing. But then you were like, well, but I can understand if I think about, like, sports, because you have, like, certain sports people that you would love to talk to. So uh, this will be for everybody, but we'll start with Jack. What is a fandom, whether it's sports or Star Wars, or what? what is your thing that you geek out over, the thing that you would want to go to a convention for and meet the people in? That, what would excite you like that? I think athletes of, of my time, you know, those are the guys that I actually watched and I was in awe of that I, I got to see. Those are people that I, I think I still geek out out because it's something that I wanted so badly and I had no chance of being, you know, a professional athlete. So... I think that those type of things and then certain actors, man, like I, I still like I said earlier about Halle Berry, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Brad Pitt is another person that I got to to be with on a set, man. And it was unbelievable. Like you understand what it is that that it factor that people have that you're like, damn, now I see what it is that why this guy's a mega star, you know. Mm -hmm. So things like that, man, those, those, that, those are the little things that I geek out about. Cool. Uh, Phil, how about you? Uh, for me, man, I mean, I would have to, well, there was this time when like, uh, my son was playing a basketball game and, uh, Scotty Pippen came in oh, wow. and he was, like a few rows from me. And this is Scotty Pippen. That's like, you know, equivalent to Michael Jordan, bro. To me, I mean, Scotty Pippen, Michael Jordan, the same, bro. Like mm -hmm. I was like geeking out. I was like pushing my wife, like, Oh, Scotty Pippen. It's Scottie Pippen. <laughs> and I, I, I didn't like have a reason to go down there and be like, Hey, Scotty Pippen. Like, you know what I mean? So you could have told me you were a power ranger. He would have been very impressed. That would have not worked. At all. <laughs> I don't think he would be impressed by that at all. Uh, uh, my character was a bowler. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. So yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, getting geeked out. Oh, a Halle, I have a Halle Berry story. I actually served her one time. And uh, I was like Jack. Well, Jack probably played it way more cool. But I was the guy that was like, <laughs> hand was shaking while I'm taking the order down. I had to like go back and take a couple deep breaths and be like, yo, she's just a person. She's just a person. She's just a person. And uh, he's Halle Berry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had to. Yeah, I had to, it's hard. Had to, yeah it is. It was. Every day it was yeah, there was a lot of hard things going on. <laughs> All right. Anyway, moving on to Jess. <laughs> um, for me, maybe if I could go back in time and meet like Audrey Hepburn or Grace Kelly, Jackie O, like the that time period. Right. Kind but, of golden age of cinema and celebrity. Yeah. I don't have a TV and I haven't for 10 years, so I don't watch anything except if I'm on an airplane. Mm -hmm. um, which I do have a funny story about because I was on a plane with Jack and Phil, and there was one em there was one empty seat on the whole plane. It was next to me in the middle, and all of a sudden I was like watching Wonder Woman or something. Jack came and shoved past the woman on the aisle and sat down in between us and changed my channel. I was like, "What are you doing? I am watching the movie." <laughs> and he was on. TV, he was on the screen. He was like, That's me. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm pretty sure the lady next to him was not happy. <laughs> but it was really cool to to be able to watch Jack in action. <laughs> Which film awesome. was that, Jack? It was a TV show. It was a TV show? Were you playing a cop? No, yeah. he was were you a so. cop? 
I think you oh, were like no, no, a mafia no, member. I was, a, I was a drug dealer. The other yeah. part, that oh. yeah. <laughs> That's he fun to play. Guy. He was uh, a bad guy. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm saying that I, I always tell people that's my entire career. I'm either arresting or getting arrested. <laughs> well, you know, some people say they, yeah, they say some people say you can't even get arrested in Hollywood. You can't say that, sir. <laughs> uh, who, Al, Allison, I think we didn't hear from you yet. Well, when I was when I was a teenage girl, I used to hang out at this mall called the Beverly Center. Here it was across the street from where I was born. And I was eating an ice cream and this lady said, excuse me, where did you get that? And I, <laughs> and I looked up and it was Shirley MacLaine. Oh. oh, wow. And for someone my age, I mean, I'm sure fans will watch this and be like, who was that? <laughs> um, but if you're in your mid forties, like most of us and well, she was the Haley Berry of her time. Okay. <laughs> right. Also, too, I would hang out there because LL Cool J, who I love, was always there. And that was back when he was wearing one of his pant legs half up. And he oh. was very gore. He was very gorgeous. And so I would, <laughs> I would hang out at the mall by myself and <laughs> and like geek out. And and Polly Shore was always there. He was <laughs> He would hit on me. I'm like, dude, I'm like half your age. I mean, that's Hollywood, right? But um, <laughs> sorry, one of my earbuds fell out. Um, but that's not really answering the question, I guess. But Shirley McLean, I was like, holy shit. She just asked me where I got my ice cream. <laughs> and then you were best friends. No, not at all. <laughs> she was like, okay, thank you. I was like, why are you so serious? Can I hug you? <laughs> No. If she's already in the wind, you're like, okay, bye. Yeah, I'm like, okay, <laughs> bye. But yeah, you know, like the the old time actor, you know, like right. actors these days are cool. But I, being an actor, I think you want to be an actor because when you're young, you you watch shows and you watch films and you want to be part of that. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, maybe for a lot of us, we would love to see the people who we grew up watching, who inspired us to want to act. Right. That seems to be the common theme of, of wanting the people that were famous before you were famous are the people that totally. you're most excited about, kind of. Totally. I will yeah. say this. In high school, uh, you had to do community service in order to, like, graduate. And uh, mm -hmm. what we did was we ended up coaching a basketball team in Pan Pacific Park. And uh, Denzel Washington's son played in the same league. And I remember we were playing against them. And then after the game's over, you know, everyone slaps hands or whatever. I couldn't even look at this man in the eye, bro. That's how <laughs> starstruck it was. Like, I was just like, good game, good game, you know? Like, oh. <laughs> and then actually a couple years later, actually not a couple years later, actually uh, a few years ago, my wife actually did a movie with him. And like that right there, like, unfortunately, she didn't make it. Like, she got cut on the, uh, what is that? The editing room floor, as they oh. say. Oh, but, I thought she was like a victim in the movie. She didn't make it. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, she didn't. She didn't make the cut, unfortunately. Yeah. But uh, she got to do her scene with Denzel. And like that to me was like, I felt like I was winning. I felt like I was working with Denzel. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. It's her victories or your victories. Man. Oh, bro. Yeah, because that totally. yeah, that's, I don't know. I guess I'm just kind of piggybacking on like, you know, actors that, you know, you're just like, oh, you know, yeah. that was, that's, that's my guy. Well, sure. Did you guys win that game when you were doing the the slapping at the end? That's what I want to know for hiding the face. Didn't. Like, we oh. didn't. And I bet if we did, I probably would have been like, yeah, that's right, Denzel and your son. What? <laughs> I'm trying to guess. I think it was his son, like John Washington David, the guy that's famous now. He was, mm -hmm. he was, uh, yeah, it was him. That was. Uh, did you see that film that he yeah. did where he was at that CIA agent? Oh, Tenet. Yeah. Did you see that? The the Chris Nolan film. <laughs> Sorry, well, huh? yes. Oh, I thought yes. you were making a joke by muting yourself because the, the bad sound mix in that film. Oh, he was. He was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good movie. I had to watch that twice. Tenet. It was so confusing. Oh, like, man, it's so good. We're like, yeah, but it's like, what just happened? Like, yeah. 
You had to watch it like it was twice. hard to follow it. Yeah, kind of get it. I'm I'm down to watch it again too, just because. All right, let's put it on right now. We're gonna live stream it for everybody. <laughs> it. <laughs> it's no, like two fact, and a half hours long. Let's please not do that. <laughs> no, in fact, the exact opposite. We are starting to run out of time. So uh, I think I asked that question. Big Doug, why don't you ask one more super great question to end it on, and then uh, we'll, we'll close it out. So this question isn't a super great question, but no, it's I said one super I'm great. Sure. Make it super great. Okay. I'll, here we go. Changing up. Um, when I when I grew up watching Power Rangers, it inspired me to train in martial arts. So I was wondering, um, going into Power Rangers, what kind of anybody's martial arts background was, if any, and, you know, obviously doing these fight scenes on the show, what are some cool things you may have picked up along the way? For me, uh, I was uh, studying one hop quindo, which means like combination of fist. And it was a part of Mark DeCosco's dad, I believe. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, so it was a type of Kung Fu and um, it was just great for exercise. Uh, but, you know, that's the one thing that I always that's the question that people like, do, do you have to know like martial arts to, to get the job? And I was like, nah, bro, you just got to know where to stand on your mark and say your lines, dude. You know what I mean? And then go. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of yeahs. If you got that. If you got that, you're good. You know what I mean? I'm still working on mine, but, you know, heavy breathing. You have to, you know, <sighs> and like, pretend you just like ran a mile or something. Um, I did Kung Fu and Taekwondo growing up. And then after the show, I actually continued to train with some of the stunt guys. Um, and I did a little bit of Jeet Kune Do mm, and American okay, yeah. Boxing. Awesome. Um, but I would say for the stunts that dancing is more helpful than um, than knowing martial arts because of the choreography and the timing. That makes it. We were talking to another uh, ranger actor who was saying that he had some training and he kept accidentally hitting people because he was trained to hit people. And he was saying the same thing that it became, when he, once he started thinking about his dance, then it worked better. So that, that makes yeah. perfect sense. Yeah. Man, who said that? That, that uh, was, uh, it was Jason, Jason from uh, Storm the, the following Green. season. Who? Yeah. The, the Jason. season following year was Ninja Storm. Jason oh. Chan, who played uh, Green, um, the Green Ranger. That, that just season. sounds so crazy that I have to hit people because I've trained like that. <laughs> It's like, well, on, no. you know exactly where you're putting your fist <laughs> if you've trained. Well, maybe he didn't train correctly. <laughs> that sounds weird, but. Well, tell us about your training then. Because clearly you have an that, opinion. And me, I have no training. That's why I'm asking. Oh, okay. I had no training whatsoever, man. I I, didn't, I, could bear, I was just learning how to stretch when I got to work with these guys, you know. Mm -hmm. Never, ever <laughs> fought or to anything. Stretch. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I feel like I feel like we're gonna get the same answer, but just for completion's sake, Allison. Oh no, mine's not the same. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you got for us? My sister's husband uh sparred with Bruce Lee, and oh. he was in the competing film company. He he brought martial arts over from Taiwan to Scandinavia. And my sister married him when I was eight. So I started training in Wushu when I was eight for a few years till I was like 14. Wow. Um, you would never know it because by the time I was 24 and we were shooting, my body, I was like throwing my back out and <laughs> doing all kinds of things. It had been a really long time. But I think um, doing, um, you know, doing that, that training with my sister's <laughs> husband, um, did come in handy, you know, with some of the some of the scenes. But we had such amazing stunt people that we didn't have to be all that good, fortunately. So. Yeah, I guess it, it, it. I guess the reason that it gets asked a lot, a because they're action characters. But the impression I get from from talking to various people is that the earlier the season was, the more you did actually have to know something, and then mm -hmm. as it went on, it became yeah. more of just a action role as opposed to a combination of a stunt role. But mm. no, that, that's the, but that is great that you like such a that, yeah, uh, I, yeah. Part of the reason I didn't talk is that I could not have guessed that story, and that is so awesome. Yeah, <laughs> you're, I'm like, yeah you're just gonna say the same thing, aren't you? You're like, actually, no, you stupid. I got a great Bible. story. <laughs> he trained me when I was younger, so you know, just wanna. 
It's the truth. That's awesome. That, that is, is amazing. That is and, that, and that's that's a good way to end it. Um, uh, before we go, um, we want to first of all say thank you all for being yes. here, and thank you for everyone that's watching online and everything. But let's let's go around and give everybody a chance. If there's any any, any businesses, any sites, any upcoming whatever whatever you want to tell people about that you're doing, wherever you want to point them, let's do that. Uh, and as long as we're talking to Allison, we'll just we'll just do Allison first. Oh, thanks, guy. Well, thank you for having us. Um, and yeah, I think everyone knows that I make mustard, Sullivan Farms yeah. mustard. And um, I got really lucky in Southern California. I'm in, um, I got into a store called Bristol Farms and all their sister stores. So um, it's, it's carried in about 64 stores nationwide now. And I have a website at sullivanfarmsfoods.com. And um, I sign all the jars when, when fans order, which I appreciate so much. And it's sweet and spicy, smoky, and when I put a bunch of fat tire beer in. I don't. The factory that cooks it does. But <laughs> it's, you don't, you you don't know, make each one yourself? That does <laughs> Dude, yeah. Um, my house is 548 square feet. No, it's also Ill illegal. So no, there's a factory that I pay a, an arm and a leg to, 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 to cook it. But, um, but yeah, so it's yellow. I was a yellow ranger. Makes sense. Ah. <laughs> Way to tie it Thanks in Thanks for asking. Right. Uh, how about you, Jack? Anything you want to promote or point people towards? Uh, not much right now, brother. Just literally auditioning. I don't have anything going on. Um, were, weren't you on? You were just on uh, John Stamos's show, right? Uh, yeah, Big Shot. Yeah. Yeah, man, that was a lot of fun, bro. And he was super cool. You know, I, I worked with him on ER, and so it was it was fun, man. Real cool guy. I Always a blast to work with. But there you go. Besides that, you know, nothing, man. Just on Instagram, Jack Guzman, actor, all together, and. Uh, on Cameo, if you guys ever need any videos, that's about it, man. Nice. All right, awesome. Jess, how about you? Anything you want to point people at? I, I have a feeling I know one of the answers might have to do with swimwear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I make swimwear. Um, it's justcaray.com. Swimwear and women's clothing. We're just going to start little boys, like board shorts and stuff soon. And uh, Can you say the name of the company again? I think it might have. It's just my name, Jessica Ray. <laughs> <laughs> dot com um and then rise of the ninja it's uh we're gonna be filming episode three episode two is coming out soon definitely check it out on on youtube um and i think that's it follow me on instagram i'm in croatia right now and i'll be here all summer so <laughs> so you probably have a lot of good pictures going up yeah we went zip lining yesterday on a 2500 oh, foot line that was like 500 feet in the air. It was, my kids did it. So it was pretty awesome. <laughs> Dang. Jess, right. that wallpaper looks real. <laughs> <laughs> no, it moves too. Like it's- What? That you got that fancy level. wallpaper. Yeah. <laughs> that 5G. <laughs> Well, Phil, uh, yeah. after critiquing her wallpaper, do you want to tell us what you'd like to point out to people, if anything? Um, what am I up to? My kids just finished school today, uh, okay. which, wow. and we're learning online virtually, so I officially have graduated from fourth to fifth, and <laughs> PK to kindergarten, so I think I'm ready. Aww. Nice. Uh, yeah. Um, what else? Is, as far as me, just auditioning, um, you know, right now my daughter and I are in a Walmart commercial. So awesome. if you see it, then say, hey, that awesome. cool. uh, that's about it, you know, just uh, out here doing. Oh, you can follow me at Philip Jean-Marie, not Phil Jean-Marie. Yeah. That's his professional yeah. account. That's my professional yeah. name. It's more. 10% you know, more pretentious in that version of you. Than that's more pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, again, thanks, everybody, for making the time yes. and, and giving Thank us some, you, some wild access fun. And uh, yeah, unless you got anything, Big Dog, I think we're done, right? No, thank you again. Uh, PMC Online, we're not the only panel, so check out others, but you already checked out ours, so thank you again. And uh, yeah, thank you, everybody.